Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. This Sunday we celebrate the 26th Sunday of Ordinary Time, and we continue in Luke chapter 16. We hear the parable about the rich man and the beggar Lazarus. The rich man is seen wearing fine clothes and eating the best food possible. There's a gate that separates him from Lazarus, who is a poor man covered in sores, begging, lying outside of his gate. The two are in two different worlds. Both of them die. Lazarus goes directly to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man goes to what's called the nether world, where he is in torment. There's a huge chasm between the rich man and Lazarus. And the rich man is yelling over, asking Lazarus to send help to his brother's back so that the brothers on earth, who by the way are you and me, so that we might be able to be warned to know we need to take care of the poor around us. We need to be careful about the possessions that I have and what they do to me. When I hear this story, I think of Charles Dickens and the Christmas Carol. Scrooge is converted when someone from the dead comes to visit him. He's converted because of fear. In our Christian tradition, conversion happens in a different way, not from someone who visits us from the dead, but when we encounter the risen Christ, someone who is more alive than anyone we've ever met in our life, and then by love, we become changed. That's what God wants for us. So some details in the story. The rich man is clothed as a king would be, someone who's a ruler and someone who's important, but the rich man is never named. Lazarus is the only person in all of the parables Jesus tells who has a name. The rich man who has everything in this life goes into anonymity. We don't even know his name. Lazarus, the one who was poor in this world, we are still telling his name after all of these years, even though it's just a parable. In Luke's gospel, up until this point, in every parable, mercy and compassion are given to anyone who asks for it. Today is different. The rich man is calling across the chasm to Abraham to say, send help. Would you please send help? And for some reason, this situation is irreversible. Uh, Abraham is not able to send help. The rich man calls Lazarus by name. And here is where he shows how he's culpable. The rich man knows who Lazarus is. That means that when they were in this life, the rich man knew Lazarus and he saw him, but he did nothing. He left him on the other side of the gate. Now for eternity, the rich man will continue to see Lazarus, the one to whom before he had never paid attention. Compassion is possible while the poor man is at our gate here. It's not possible in the next world when we are separated based upon what we do here. So lastly, the principle, the mercy of God decreases when our mercy for our neighbor decreases. Where there is no mercy of one's neighbor, there is no room for God's mercy. Pay attention to our neighbor.